Hi guys, Ryan Gill from Gill's Primitive Archery again, and uh, today we're going to make fire with a bow drill instead of the hand drill. I know I normally sing the praises of the hand drill quite a bit. Uh, I do prefer that method. Uh, I believe I explained why in my hand drill video. If you haven't seen it, go uh, to my channel and check it out. And while you're there, subscribe to my channel while you're at it. I'm doing everything with stone tools. The ground is really wet. Summertime in Florida, but I'm wanting to do this because I'm hoping to beat the rain today to fire some pottery. So I figured today's a good day to show you how to use the bow grill. You know, there are certain times when uh, a hand drill is going to be more productive for you if you're used to using the hand drill like I am, you know, I'm I'm more comfortable with a hand drill than I am a bow drill, at least at this point. Uh, and the reason for that is, I know I explained it in my other video, I believe, was that it requires less materials to make a uh, hand drilled coal as opposed to a bow drill coal. Um, but it is, it's, it's awfully hard on your hands, you know, which it, it doesn't seem to matter how much you do it, you never build up enough callus to keep from getting the blisters. You get some good calluses and it helps a lot, but you just keep tearing them off. Uh, so, uh, my personal thoughts on the bow drill, uh, survival situation if you have to and you have the materials and you have the time and you're comfortable doing it, go for it. Uh, if not, you know, that's where I like the, the, the hand drill the best. Uh, bow drill for me would be a camp setting. I bring the kit with me because it's easy to do. Um, I mean, once you've mastered the hand drill, the bow drill is just super easy. There's nothing to it. Um, I'm going to kind of here show you what I'm doing real quick. Uh, it's really wet today. I pulled these leaves, several leaves, off the tree above my head. Um, they were hanging dead. It was like a branch that fell. They got caught up. So these leaves are good and dry. They pop right off. Um, they actually do have a little bit of moisture in them, so I might be battling that. But the ground is just soaked because it's just it rains every day here in Florida in July. So, but you watch me cut my notch out there. That's the same way everybody else does. Just do it with stone knife is all. I like to seat that in there good. But anyway, what I was saying was I think uh, camp life or in a, not in a primitive survival situation, but in a primitive living situation, I believe the bow drill has a good place there because, uh, you know, it is very easy. And if you have a good set and you have it made, you hang on to it, you don't get rid of it. There's no reason to get rid of a good set. This is, uh, I believe, an, an Egyptian bow drill type set where it wraps around several times. Um, obviously it wraps one way on one and wraps the other way on the other and I this is a sinew string by the way I like it to fit pretty tight I got enough string that if I uh, if it doesn't fit as tight as I want I can wrap it around a few more times you want to make sure you have enough wraps and the reason being is if in the stroke. See I can go all the way out and it winds up one side and unwinds another. And you have a knot tied in the middle. This allows for a, a lot less slippage. If that makes sense to you. But if you have a knot in the middle and have two winds on it, you'll get to here and run to the knot and it'll stop. You'll understand once you put it together. So you need a lot of cord to do it this way, but it doesn't slip very much either. For a bearing block, being in Florida, I got a nice heavy seashell here. Uh, it's got some deer fat up inside it because you want a little bit of um, lubricant on this top one. And the shell might be too hot for some people to hold. I hold it down along the bottom anyway, but my hands are pretty tough, so he doesn't bother me. Uh, my tinder here is just some shavings from making bows. I always save the stuff. Primitive man would have saved anything he could that would have been useful to him. So, I don't feel like it gives me any real advantage. Um, the 
but uh, we'll go ahead and I'll burn this in here right, right quick. Make sure it's spinning good. Okay, that'll do. Now, anytime you set your when the ground's wet. And make sure you set your stuff up on a rock somewhere. All right, now we're gonna move the camera uh, so you can watch the coal being made. Probably about 98% humidity out right now, so otherwise I probably already have a coal. Yep, it is so humid. I don't think I have one in my... But that right there is reason. I don't know if you saw it. The string slipping. I might have a cold. I don't know if uh, you can see it where you're at. But the string was slipping. I do have a cold, by the way. Um, and that's one reason I don't like. You can see this slid down. And it should be all the way out. I should have did a better job of securing it. But yeah, I definitely have a coal there. Um, that's one reason I don't like the bow drill. There's a lot more stuff to go wrong. Um, but it does work. It really does. And it's super easy. It doesn't tire you out. Your hands are always in good shape. So, um, you see people on TV rush. Uh, to dump the coal, there's no need to rush. Uh, people lose it when they do that. You see people freak out, they think they have a coal and they dump it in the tinder as fast as they can and they blow it out. Uh, it's not going anywhere. This coal is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. In fact, I'll take a, a stick here and take all the, the burnt wood out. The bow drill just makes a ton and stack it right up on top. And that'll turn into one big coal. So we'll let it cherry up good here. We'll switch camera angles again and we'll blow it into flame. Just letting that coal burn up as much as it can. Actually thought I lost it there for a second, but I didn't. We're just if you would just hold this here fairly loosely, don't crush it, but don't have it too loose. It would actually just ignite itself after a period of time. Um, but, you know, we can blow it and uh, accelerate that a little bit. Good way to use up all my leftover bow shavings as well. And there you have it. Uh, bow drill fire, it's as easy as that. Um, I know you're going to have some questions about it, so figure while we let this thing burn here a second I'll answer a couple of the questions um, the bow doesn't matter what type of wood uh, I don't like it to bend I like it to be rigid um, I hope you understood the idea of wrapping the string one way on the spindle and the other way on the other 
and getting it even. And you'll see once you try and stroke it if it if the knot hangs up. But I'll show you there. It's just tied in the middle. No big deal. There's no notch cut in the spindle. Nothing. It's slid in there. This is a dog fennel spindle. It's a big, heavy one. Uh, they're hard to find big like this. But yucca, you know, bow drills a lot easier for the most part. So you can get away with using all kinds of different stuff. But I still like uh, soft wood spindle on a soft wood hearth. This was sapwood cedar. It's one of my favorites to use. Um, but bow drill does give you some more versatility, uh, you know, for the uh, your wood choices and stuff. You may wonder why I used a handful of leaves to catch my coal this time, and the reason is, is the ground is so wet. Um, you know, this dirt is just, I mean, it's sand. It's clumping together. It's mud. Um, so by taking a few leaves and stacking them, it gives it a couple vapor barriers um, to keep the moisture from coming up through the bottom. So I guess that's probably it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message and ask, but it's, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry, really. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to my channel.